Hello everyone, this is Jeremiah Hoffman with another tutorial for the Tutorial Brothers. To start off, I have to apologize for such a late incoming tutorial. We've been super duper busy with the competition and everything. But I am going to bring you a tutorial with Blender. And this specific tutorial is on Blender 2.63. And this tutorial is on the Blender ANT Landscape add-on. To start off, I'm going to show you how to get that add-on. I'm going to go File, User Preferences, or Control-Alt-U, Add-ons. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Add Mesh here. And it's going to be right here. You're just going to go ahead and check Enable it right there next to the white man. And X out. Now you have it. So you're going to hit X, Enter, Shift, A, Mesh, Landscape. And there's the landscape. This is what generates every time. Now here are the editing tools right here. Everything you need here. So what we're going to do is I'll show you everything here. So usually if you want to see your work as you go, you'll check mesh update. All right, so there are several different types. This is the uh this is just the basic uh multifractal. If you want to do a strata terrain, it gives you a little bit more edges. Uh, shattered now you are able to edit all of this as we move along. This is just general landscape that you'll be using. Get the marble noise. What it is is it's texture that they've applied to a plane basically. And they bump mapped it so that they use these textures here and create this land mass. This looks more like a sand dune. Turbulence. That's more of a, of a mountainous terrain type thing. FBM is pretty nice if you wanted to have like a flat surface and then a cliff, obviously. Now here I'm going to show you. I'll stick to this one here. All right, so this random seed will just give you different versions of this landscape here. I think I liked the second one though. Hold on. Was it the first one? I like the second one. That one there, I like that one. Now the noise will give you how large the actual bumps are. So the higher this is, the the uh, softer the curves will be. The smaller it is, the sharper it'll be. I'll stick to two. Sorry, two. Um, let me try 1.5. How did that work? There we go. Much better. Now, like always, I encourage you all to mess around with the uh, settings. See what you like, what you don't like. Find out some new things. This will give you more height if you want to. All right, more depth. Sorry. Not height, but depth, so you get more more detail, I guess, than if you just did like one depth. And the dimensions give you height, width, that sort of thing. I don't want it too big. I'll stick to 0.5, I guess. But like I was saying, no, not 0.5. 0.25. So the bigger it gets, looks like the sharper it is. The smaller it is, the sharper it is. And the bigger it is, the flatter it is. Now this is sort of the position of it. What you have is you have this... This plane is basically infinite. And there's just random bumps all the way along this plane. So every time you change this, it's basically just moving it along to the next bumps. And I like that one. Now what we have here is the height of your uh, of your ANT here. Doing this beats doing it all by yourself by hand and sculpting every single mesh. Cause tab in there. I mean, look at that. That is so much easier. And you still can edit specific vertices if you don't like this one here. You can fail. You can just move that vertice. You select 
Boom. So you, so you do have full control over your mesh, but, you know, she wanted to add one single thing right there. I'll go ahead and get out of wireframe mode. That's what you get. So this is, I highly suggest y'all figure out, look at these settings, play around with them a little bit, um, and just have fun with it. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys next. Oh, don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and please enter our competition because, well, you never know. You might be the lucky person to win $100. So, oh, and free publicity. Love the free publicity. So please rate, comment, subscribe. Give us a message if you want a specific tutorial done, and we will try our best to get it done. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Later.